Hi guys, welcome back to another video. We are doing an unboxing of a bag that I already have gotten in, but it's a different color. It's a real neutral that I think I'm gonna use all the time. Let's get right into it. The box looks like this. It is a teeny weeny box. Can you guys have a guess? Can you have a guess? Because the box is so small, what do you think it is? Look how small it is. Look how small it is. Are you ready? This one has something a little bit different on it, so I'm trying to put it to the front so you guys can see it. Oh! It's a mini flap bag with top handle. Mini flap bag with top handle. I don't know why I was using that voice. Um, I have been wanting this in a white for a long time because I love me a white bag. I find white bags so versatile. I use them all year round, winter, summer, spring, autumn, you name it, I'm using a white bag. Uh, so I think this is gonna be a really great addition to my collection. You can see up close, this one's in the lambskin. So beautiful lambskin leather. Look, it is delicate guys, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you do have to be careful. But you know what? Someone was asking me the other day online, what do I do to prevent transferring um, and stains going on it? To be honest, I don't even worry about transfer. That's not something that I'm concerned about. I don't wear new denim jeans. I don't wear a lot of denim, denim as it is. And the denim that I do wear is very, very worn, very old. You know, it's not gonna really come off. Um, on something else and I'm not really unless I'm like at a market or if I'm traveling It's not really staying on my body crossbody for very long. So I don't, it's transfer is not something I worry about stains Of course, you know, I'm gonna be careful I'm not going to hold the bag and balance a coffee in a hand like this, you know those things I don't I avoid all of those situations I make sure the coffee in the bag or food and bag are far away from each other. Um, if I am out at a restaurant or anything like that, I usually put the bag either behind me on the chair or I hang it on the chair. Um, and I've just been very fortunate that I haven't had any spills. Now, ask me in six months, maybe it'll be completely different with this bag. Maybe I've cursed myself and I've jinxed myself and now I'm gonna get this bag stained. We will see. This one has the cutest little um, Coco Chanel charm. I don't know what this charm is called, but it's like a little cat head and a little chinky body. I say chinky because it makes a chinky sound. Um, but yeah, she's wearing also a little bag there and also a little Chanel logo on the other hand. Really cute. I thought it was super cute. I have tucked the strap in. And then the inside is just one big flat compartment with um, a slip pocket in the back, a zipper pocket as well. And then at the front, they've actually moved the slip pocket. There used to be a slip pocket in the front, I believe, and they've moved it to the back. So now there's no slip pocket there, but there is the microchip little plate. And I have to say, guys, you know, this internal is a really nice, easy internal to work with from day to day. It's not hard to get in and out of like the Lady Dior. It's a really large opening. It's easy to access. It is a win. I like that there aren't multiple compartments. It's just pretty much one bucket compartment. It makes it super easy on a small bag. Um, and it's also a little bit adjustable. You can sort of see here that the sides are, you know, a little bit expandable. They've got a little bit more space in the top there. So all of that is great. The chain is... Um, super weighty and beautiful um, beautiful beautiful chain with nice weight to it now Chanel chains are notorious for twisting absolutely notorious for twisting I have found that I have not been too bad at the twisting I tend to untwist it pretty quickly so I usually just like you know do this whenever I need to untangle I rotate it until it kind of comes out um, I haven't had anything really bad that I've had to complain about or anything like that um, it's been pretty good these chains are absolutely beautiful really weighty there is no on all these um, smaller mini flap bags they don't have the Chanel stamp on the CC like some of the other ones do 
the bottom there is no feet whatsoever it's just a plain bottom and notice that you'll notice on the sides and the bottom there is no puffiness so the puffiness that you see in the top here and in the body um, is not apparent at the bottom or on the sides I think it's to keep maybe keep it slim and also to keep it so that it's sturdy on a flat surface which makes a lot of sense so there you go Remember guys that if you want details on this bag or any of the bags you see behind me, you need to subscribe to my magazine. Um, there'll be a link on screen. Uh, there'll also be a link um, in the description somewhere as well. Right, let's get into the first comparison. Now, the very first comparison I wanna do is with my green mini flat with top handle. This one is the special green one with the blue iridescent um finish pearl finish on it so this one is green but it actually has like a blue sheen uh which is very very special really unique i didn't actually realize um that it had that sheen but it's made this bag really special so i want to compare these two now they're the exact same bag in size you can see that um the exact same bag i really love the size of this and i love the practicality and the functionality of this little bag um, because it's bigger than the Mini Kelly, I'll compare it to the Mini Kelly in a second. But I find that because it's green, I just can't wear it that much. I'm not a big green wearer. So I'm hoping that it being in the white is going to make a huge difference for me and I'll be able to get a lot more use out of this bag. The next comparison I want to do to the Mini flat bag with top handle is the Mini Kelly. Um, because this bag is the smallest bag known to man. You can see the size difference on the side. You can fit so much more in the mini flat bag um, with or without the top handle. It's nearly the same bag, so um, definitely would recommend the Chanel bag. Um, I also find that the opening of this one is not super large. I mean, it's okay, but you know, it's, it's a small bag, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if you could fit double in the Chanel bag than you can in the Mini Kelly. Notorious for being a small bag. We know this, um, we complain about it, but yet we still buy the bags. Um, so there you go, second comparison. Now the next comparison I wanna do is with another Chanel bag I have, and this one is the Pearl, with the Pearl strap. Now this is normally called the Mini Flat Bag. It doesn't have a top handle. But I want to show you guys that it's actually a very different size bag. It's a lot smaller than the mini flat bag. Doesn't look that big on screen, but in reality, it's quite, it's maybe, a, this is probably a third bigger, I would say. Um, and then when you look at the bottom, you can see it's a much smaller, you know, space. Uh, it's narrow and shorter at the same time. Um, so it is a lot smaller of a bag. So I'm not quite sure if this bag is the size of a mini flat bag or if the mini flat bag comes exactly like this but with a top handle. I don't know if they've increased the sizes. So unsure because this one has the pearl strap and I feel like it's not a standard um, Chanel bag size. So I'll show you what I mean. So this is what I meant before about the strap. So this one has a strap up the top. So there's the Chanel pearl detail, which I absolutely love on this bag. But I am unsure if this bag is actually a standard size or if this is a special size. I know this bag also comes in a larger size, which I have been eyeing out because this bag is great, but it's just a little bit too small for events and things. Um, well, for day-to-day -day use. So for an event is okay, but day-to-day -day use, it's just a little bit small. That is the third comparison. They look really similar on screen until you really start to look at the bags and then you realize that one is a lot smaller than the other. And the last comparison I wanna do is with the mini Lady Dior because this is such an iconic bag and I feel like um, people who use this bag will understand the small size nature of mini Lady Dior. Uh, you can see there it looks quite roomy, but there is the issue of the opening and not being able to get a lot of things in and out of the Lady Dior, but they look very similar in size. I would definitely recommend the Chanel over the Lady Dior um, because it is way more functional and practical and easy to use. But it's just to give you an idea, 
The capacity though, like the space is probably the same. Absolutely love this Lady Dior. The color, um, the hardware, I just think it's really beautiful. It goes with a lot of things. I don't grab it that much. I pretty much grab it for special events these days. Um, I don't wear it day to day because I just find it's a little bit too impractical for me. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do two videos a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. All right, I'm gonna show you guys mod shots of this bag and I'm gonna show you how low this drop is. It is unusually low, but you know what? I can work with it. It's better than it being too short. Um, I decided to wear a beautiful summer dress today because it is summer right now in Australia. I know that it's really weird for a lot of you guys overseas that are in America. It's probably winter where you guys are now. But in Australia, we celebrate Christmas in summertime. Really, really hot weather, um, pool parties, cocktails, you know, that sort of thing. A lot of seafood and cold meats and all that kind of stuff, which is probably very, very unusual for you guys. So I'm wearing a beautiful little summer dress um, that I got from Shein recently. I thought it would highlight this white bag quite nicely um, and just sort of show you guys how it sort of looks on the body. There are a couple of ways you can wear this bag. You can wear it just holding the top handle. This is how I like to wear most of my bags. Now, obviously wearing this bag on the shoulder isn't gonna be great because the strap is so long. So I would recommend this crossbody or handheld. Um, and this is pretty much how I'm gonna be wearing it from day to day. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video and getting this far. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. It really helps the algorithm out. And remember to subscribe to my channel. I do two videos a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And head over to my Instagram. I'm super prominent over there. I post nearly daily, giveaways, polls, and a hell of a lot more. I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now.